I've heard a lot of stories on Nasus support. It seems not very good for this game. But we'll see, I guess. I don't know. I did my runes against Nasus because I... Because I thought it was going to be Nasus, man. I am stronger than man. Stronger than machine. I Nasus support, I why? Apparently LS said it was really good. Or I, I don't know if he said it was really good, but he said it was like pretty good or something. I've only heard people tell me about it, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, honestly, it kind of sucks not having Bone Plenty into Trundle. That's going to hurt pretty bad. Gonna have to play this one a little bit more careful here. Also, no Ignite, too. I've been really liking Ignite versus Trundle. I guess that's one thing about Nasus, man. It's really, uh, it throws off the enemy top laner, right? I thought it was gonna be Trundle support. That's one thing about, like, flex picks in general that is honestly really strong. You just don't know where they're gonna go exactly. To hear this creep lock. Got his Ben playing for the gang. Mm, I really wish I didn't do that. Man, one of those one of those E flashes where you know you shouldn't have gone for it like as you're doing it. That was bad. I knew that was gonna be out of range. I'm ready, man. Finally a Rek'Sai that plays around topside. My last like three Rek'Sai's have just not ganked top at all. Uh, this guy's no TP, let's try to push here. Good enough. Um, I have PTA this game. Ooh, and conditioning too. That's gonna be nice actually. Yeah, I pretty much only go Fleet into, like, heavy range matchups. I've kind of stopped running on even some of the melee matchups just because they nerfed it. But I think into range matchups where, like, you're not really going to be able to proc your PTA in lane phase. I think it's still pretty good in those. I need to test it out more. Haven't really played with Fleet too much since the uh, nerf, to be honest. I've had a few games with it though. It doesn't seem terrible. It doesn't seem that much different. Yeah, he's trying to go for a room on mid there. Yeah, Cleaver first. Trundle gets a lot of armor from his uh, ulti, or steals your armor, 
And then they usually get like steel caps, at least. Sometimes wardens. It just feels like you need the you need the damage from Cleaver to 1v1 him, it feels like. And even then it's still a little bit sketchy. Don't think they get wardens. They do sometimes. I've definitely seen it. I've definitely played versus it. I kind of don't think he will this game just because of our team comp though. But uh, Trundle is a champion where like you can go into wardens and your your base champion is so strong. Like delaying your build doesn't feel that bad. Hmm. I missed my E, that's unfortunate. And he got six. My bad. We'll take it back here. Wave is gonna push to me. Definitely could have played that a little bit cleaner, but Rexo was also on 2k gold. That could have maybe backfired. I don't know. The thing is, there, there is a chance I died there, but it's still worth it to one for one if he's going to lose the full wave. So yeah, either way, it would have been good now that I think about it. He's not going to let me freeze that. Oh yeah, Mordekaiser has some great voice lines, man. Mordekaiser as a champion is sick. Like, not his kit, but just like the actual champion. I think he's really cool. This is where we got to be a little bit careful. He's so tanky with that ulti, man. go in though. That's all I got, buddy. Should I TP mid? Yeah, he's gonna insta-push that. The leaked Mordekaiser skin. Oh, that high noon one. That actually looks way better than I thought. When I first heard about High Noon on Mordekaiser, I was like, huh, that feels not really fitting. But they, they made it fit, man. It looks good. Her wave is good. Let's go back top here. Yeah, honestly, dude, I still don't really understand the whole Nasus support thing, though. Especially in a game like this. Wow, he just solo kills him. Sweet, we'll get some plates. Like, obviously, his Wither's really good for supporting, but, like, what else does he do? I guess he shreds their armor with his E. And just, like, pokes in lane with E. 
I don't know. I can't really see it, though. I can't see how it's that good. I feel like support is one of those roles where you can kind of play any champion and, like, get the win with. Like, it's definitely viable enough to win with, but, like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like OP, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Or at least I don't see how. Thank you, sir. Uh, rise DP? Okay. Yeah, rise is the only one with TP this game. Wait, dude. Dude, I thought Rek'Sai was in his ulti. I didn't know he died. I thought he was gonna kill that Ryze. He just disappeared. I thought he was an ulti, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, should I sell D-Blade? I hate selling D-Blade, but I kind of feel like I should. I don't know. The little bit of Omni Vamp is nice. I'm gonna keep it. We should be chilling. He's not on Holebreaker Spike yet. And he's looking a little bit tilted, dying mid lane. This Rek'Sai is really good in the early game. This guy definitely plays some Rek'Sai. Okay, this is a champion I do not want to play against. I want the trundle back, dude. I can kill this guy once I have flash, but if I don't have flash, I don't really have a way to get on him. Especially when he has phase rush. Then again, Trundle seems really bad versus Nivea, so I guess that's the trade-off. Or not too bad of a trade-off. I don't even think Ryze is, like, that good of a champion. He's just really good against Ergot. I don't feel like he's too broken. I feel like he's a solid champ, but... I shouldn't have pulled him, maybe? That sucks I was like five seconds away from having my flash. I wonder if I sold D-Blade for Cleaver on that play if I would have got him. I kind of feel like I would have. Maybe that did make the difference. All things considered, this is still a pretty good early game versus Trundle. Got a nice 30 CS lead on him. For a matchup, I shouldn't really be winning early, to be honest, especially without Ignite. Dude is kind of tanky. I'm really happy she jumped in there. I was going to maybe go for the E flash. I can kill this guy. He does have phase rush though. Can I one tap him? Oh, he just got 11. 
try to trade with him first. Nice. I got his phase rush before the E flash. Once I saw the phase rush pop, I knew he was dead. The only way you can run from that E flash is a either if he flashes or just pops phase rush. That's the only way. That's also the only way I can play against a rise though, is if I have flash. It's kind of sad. I was thinking of maybe going Holebreaker just to match the Trundle, but I think I can match him without it. With how much of a lead we have, like, CS-wise, I think we can match him. Just doing a standard build. They do have objective bounties, and all of our turrets are pretty low. Just kind of sketchy. It's one thing I don't like about objective bounties. It feels like they're kind of bound to get their the tier 1s. Like, right when the objective bounties become active, it's almost like you're, you're kind of bound to at least get a few. Because by then, the tier 1s are going to be pretty low, right? can dive this. Clean dive. I got the buffer on that Ever Frosty, that was sick. Three souls over here, dude. Oh, they all despawned. Don't really need a back yet. Gonna try to farm out Titanic here. I go for this? She's gonna go for red, right? Oh man, I'm dead, I think. Alright, we're good. I'm surprised that Diana was able to... What did she do there? Protobelt out of my ulti? Yeah, she's Protobelt. She has no tenacity. Actually... I guess she could have tenacity with the runes, yeah. She might have unflinching and legend tenacity, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if she took that entire team comp. Because my E stun did not feel long at all right there. Only those who survive this city deserve it. Balancing in Legends of Runeter is really good. Dude, I forgot about that game. I heard good things about that game, but I feel like it didn't really ever like super take off. I didn't really want to give it a try because I I played so much Hearthstone back in the day, and I, I stopped playing that game and I was just kind of over card games to be honest. After that, just haven't really had like a desire to play one. Oh, 
Just in case. We'll grind him up. I'm really glad I quit Hearthstone though, because that game was like such a money sink, man. I got it messed up so hard there. It's all good. It's a two item spike with double support, dude. Our team comp is really good. Really good for Ergot. Just all this like support and CC utility to play off of. Oh yeah, dude, Magic the Gathering. I'm I've heard Magic the Gathering was even more muddy than Hearthstone. Ooh, he's not low enough. Mm, no shields. I was just hyping up this double support combo. In a game like this, I would definitely go Eclipse just because I'm really fed. And we also have double support, so the chance I die is pretty low. I can be more greedy with my build. This Anivia is going off. All these Everfrosts everywhere, dude. Holy moly. You know, I've heard Magic the Gathering was even more expensive than Hearthstone, and Hearthstone was really expensive. Like, I tried to be kind of casual with that game, and I feel like I spent at least $1,000 on my account. Well, around around there, probably. When I was, like, really into the game. The problem is, you can climb with, like, not spending very much money, but if you want to have fun, you have to spend a bunch of money. That was the problem with that game. Waiting for like a good Anivia Q to try to play off of. Let's just play for Drake, I'm thinking. Wow, nice. I'm surprised I killed. Nice little W toggle. Hey, welcome, Pokey player. Report Trundle every time. Every time he picks Trundle, he trolls. Hey, he's just role playing the champion, dude. Can't hate on it. He's the troll king. Nice. That was a good game, though. I think we played that line pretty well. I think also Rek'Sai helping me out, man. That's like the first game I've had, at least in the past like two or three days, where I've had that much jungle help. Such a different feel to the game when I actually have that jungle help. It's usually the opposite. And our team comp, too. Everything was nice about that game. That was a really nice one. 22k damage.